junk journal. I'm going to be using this junk journal of mine today to give you examples of what my process looks like, how I go about junk journaling. These are by no means the right way of doing junk journaling. This is just what I have found is right for me and how I managed to keep my journaling practice fun and stress-free. For me, it all starts with what I want to journal about. Normally, it is uh, some kind of an experience I want to write about. Uh, there's a memory I'd like to document or simply a thought that has been running around my head and I feel it deserves a special place in my journal. And that kind of sets the mood of the journaling I want to do. The next thing I do is I browse through my stash. I have a stash of fabrics and also clip outs, book pages, whatnot. I just like to browse through them and see what appeals to me in that moment and what kind of ties in with the thing I want to journal about. So for example, today I'd like to journal about a recent trip I made to a car boot sale and what kind of treasures I found there, what people I met there, what my experience is like. Uh, so I'm going to browse through my scraps and fabrics and journaling cards and see which ones uh, speak to me in a way. It could be a pattern that I feel uh, makes sense for what I want to journal. It could be just a piece of scrap that I have always wanted to use and it feels like it's the right time to use it now. Or it could be just a plain simple journaling card that has got nothing on it and is ready for me to decorate and add my journaling on top. So that is how my process starts normally with browsing through my stash and things and just seeing what stands out in that moment in time. Then once I have picked out a color palette or a bunch of scraps that I like, I would just browse through my junk journal and see where is a good space for this card, for example, to go on? What page feels like this card belongs there? And it's really easy to start with something like this, which is a blank and fairly neutral colored page. So this card, for example, it could look good pretty much anywhere in these neutral pages and I wouldn't need to worry about uh, working with color palettes and wondering whether things fit together. So for this one, let me just start, let's say let's start over here. So on this page, I have already added my journaling and I've got a music sheet uh, on one side. I find music sheet really easy to journal on because it is great for any type of collage. You can add color, you can add a monochrome piece of decoration on top. It will work most of the times. Uh, so for today and for this memory that I want to capture, I feel this gives me really simple uh, layout. So the card on top of the music sheet and then when you lift the card, you can journal on the back here and the beautiful music sheet will still show. So I'm thinking I would like to tip this in using some fabric and I have picked this piece of scrap fabric and I want to use just a little piece over here with some fabric glue and then this card will be uh, secured onto the page. So I went ahead and cut down the card to size and this little strip of fabric I cut down to size and these are now ready to go onto the page here. Now before I glue the postcard down, I'm going to add my writing on the back because it's just easier to journal when the card is not adhered to the page yet. 
I love using colored pens for journaling. These are, well, this is my black brush pen, but these are um, colored fine liners. And you can see when you add a little bit of color, I don't know if the camera is picking this up, uh, but when you add a bit a little bit of color with your journaling it just brightens up the page some blue over here i really love uh, changing up the colors so for this one i feel i'm going to use the red Now with a little bit of fabric glue, I'm not going to apply any glue onto the card. I'm going to rely on this patch of fabric to glue it down. So I'm going to put some on the fabric and nothing on the card. Then this goes on top. I think I like this a little bit off center. We have it a nice card with our journaling tipped onto the page now for me this is not a finished page this is not a finished layout i feel further down the line i might want to add a little sentiment here or a patch of washi tape perhaps on the side or maybe even here i could tip in a journaling card and keep journaling on top but for me this is enough to have my thoughts and memories and experiences down in my junk journal and then I can worry about making it prettier or adding some more detail or incorporating other stuff on these pages to make them a fully finished layout. But for now, this is good for me. I've got my memory on paper. I've got something on paper here as well and I can keep on moving through the pages until I find another spot for something else I want to journal about. For example, this car boot sale that I visited during the weekend. I have many memories from there, many nice finds. So I want to keep on journaling about that day. So for example, these two pages here, the one on the left hand side, I love how it's plain. So I can go ahead and add some art journaling on top, add my drawing, perhaps even a painting. This is um, coffee stained watercolor paper. So it's going to be good for paint or other media. I'm going to keep this blank. But for the page on the right hand side, I have a little selection of papers here. I really love music sheets because they are great for collage. And with this one, I thought, I've got this beautiful floral card here. I can use to journal on top. There is some space behind as well. Or I could add some plain paper here on the back, use that for journaling add a little strip to make a little collage and then use this card for decoration i might do either see i'm not sure Ed, i just love the combination between these pieces i feel they work nicely with each other but also with the other page that we've got going on here so let me just go ahead trim a few bits and pieces down to size and see what we uh, are left with now I like to keep a stash of papers that are easy to journal on directly. For example, this little page here is from a planner and um, see it nearly fits here. I need to trim down a little bit more on the side. I don't insist on measuring anything when I uh, do journaling for my junk journal. I don't mind a little bit of messiness 
and the measurements is, are definitely not something that I like to pay too much attention on just because I get them wrong all the time. So even when I spend the time, even when I put the effort in, I end up doing something wrong anyway. So for me, let me just pinch the page a little bit to show me where I want to cut it. And I'll just go straight in and you can't get too far wrong with this, so I'm just going in like that. Now if this page goes here, I can add my journaling and then put the card in as decoration and to highlight the memory that I uh, wrote about on this page. So I'll just go ahead and glue this down first i'm not going to journal on it first just because i feel i want to get a better idea of what the finished layout will look like so i'm treating myself to this little preview just get this on there and originally I had used a corner punch to round the corner here and that's what I'm going to do with the page I added on top. It blends in seamlessly, doesn't it? So here I'd like to see this little bit of map. I'm trimming off just a bit to the side to make it smaller. I'm going to just add a little bit of glue just like that and then I feel I'm going to go ahead and add my journaling behind this card. Sometimes when I've got a designated space for journaling like this one and I start journaling away and I run out of space I would use the card to keep on writing until I finish my thoughts. So I don't know how much I'll be writing here. It might spill over to the card itself, but let's see how it goes. So that's my journaling added on the page now. And I'm just going to let this card sit here for decoration uh, because I didn't need it to write anything on top. Uh, but it feels just such a beautiful combination like this. I am quite happy with how this page is coming together. So let's find another page, maybe the last page that I could use as an example to show you my little ribbons. Um, let's see this one is good so for this one another easy one for me i am going to just add some color on top here in the face of this journaling card and i want to add a sentiment on top this time i've got this clip out from a book it says patience and i think that will go nicely with what i want to be journaling about but also to attach this to the page I'd like to create a little fabric belt. Just put this little strip of fabric here so that I can tuck my journaling card inside. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to put some on the strip here. And that should be enough to hold a single card in place, I hope. So I'm going to put it off center somewhere here. Just like that. And then while this is drying, let me put a little clip here because this page keeps trying to fold over. So while this is drying, I'll go ahead and add my journaling 
on the back of this card. I'm going to use black this time because I want the theme to be, for example, with this beautiful word patience. If I cut this down to size, well, not cut, but tear the page down to size like that, I could add it on top, but this is too pale for me to see. So I'm going to go over with a brush pen. Just like that. I think that is good. Um, can I add some decoration on top? Do I want to? I'm not sure. No, not for now. So let me just add this on top somewhere over here. Like so. And then add my journaling on the back. So this memory, this thought can now live onto this page here in the junk journal. And that is very much what a junk journaling session of mine looks like. It is just what you saw, browsing through papers, browsing through scraps, browsing through pages and see how things fit together. Even if they don't, just go ahead, slap it on top. For this one here, I've only used washi tape, so if I don't love how this is looking in combination with my beautiful illustration that I did myself with inks, I can just get rid of it, I can remove it, I can put something else on there. And uh, that is entirely up to me, that is entirely up to you. So that's what I'm going to say, guys. Just uh, go through the papers, the fabrics, the pens that make you happy and pick the ones that make you happy. And then it's just a matter of putting it all together with a little bit of glue and putting your precious experiences and thoughts and memorable moments onto that paper. So that is how I journal, that is how I document my life in a junk journal and I hope you have taken out some tips and this video makes it easier for you to um, go ahead and do some junk journaling stress-free. Thank you for watching this one and I'll catch you in my next one.